Uh, alrighty. Did a little bit of farming last time. Turns out you can't infinitely farm the stupid little humanity things. Uh, didn't quite get enough for a level. But that's okay, because I'm just trying to do anything I can to avoid fighting Manus at this point. Yeah, like I said, I did some farming offline. Or, oh, Twin Humanities. Everything feels quiet, but I just might have my sound a little low. That's fine. Hopefully my audio is not super scuffed today. But I am going to go up here, because there's normally a Black Knight up here. And... Watchtower Basement Key... I don't think that's very useful. I think that's the room where Havel the Rock normally is, which unfortunately I've already been through there. Um, I actually do have enough for a level I want to use it. I'm going to use a small soul here and hopefully level up. Because I want to spend them as I can, so I don't lose them. Alright. You know, I might be okay with intelligence here. Yeah, I think I am okay with intelligence. Uh... Because I did also tack on a spell, as you can see on my level up here. And that might actually let me use another one? No, I'm one off great heavy soul arrows. It's not much, but it would be some more damage. And it's ranged damage as well, which... I'll be honest, it's very helpful sometimes in this game to have ranged damage. I am also going to go through a shortcut I opened up to go deal with some underground nonsense at this point. So because this gives me more Estus, which is always a plus. As long as I can dodge the bone man here. Yeah, there was an enemy down here that was a humanity thing. It wasn't respawning and now it is again, so I'm gonna kill it again. I'm wondering if I have to quit entirely out of the game. Because this thing actually stopped respawning. And now I'm in serious trouble here. But yeah, uh, always drops twin humanity, which means I technically have 12 twin... 12 humanity there, which is nice. Um, short of anything being a dog here, I think I can just run to the boss door. Oh, Bone Man can kind of keep up with me. here and take a quick drink, because the boss kills the stuff in here anyway for me. Thank you. Also lets me know where you are. I can totally kill this boss, so I just need to not get greedy. 
And hopefully her AI doesn't glitch out and have her turn invisible a hundred times like it did last time. Ugh, come on. I would absolutely love to get the tail. It's not likely to happen, but I'm gonna try for it. Even if I could get it one time... Oh, I beg your pardon with that hitbox. Just can't let her bleed me, because that will kill me almost instantly. Ow. Okay, time to drink then, since you're turning invisible. Nice to know you're still in the same spot. She jumped away, didn't she? Nope. Okay, it takes two hits to stagger her like that. Can you get out of the wall, please? I would appreciate that. That's the only problem with trying to cut off her tail in this room. So tiny a room that I can't accurately hit her tail every time. See, normally the Capper Demon's hanging out in here and he's a really hard boss, but only because there's two dogs in here. Which he doesn't deal any damage to. Ow, what? I've, like, rarely ever seen her use that attack. I didn't know it spread that much, my gosh. Does it seek you out slightly, too? Oh, whoop. Come on, give me the tail. Oh, White Titanite Slab, okay. So now I can focus wholly on just dealing damage and not trying to get behind her. Though behind her is one of the best places to be, still. Now come over here and kill these guys for me. I mean, that was what I asked for. Not the method I thought she'd use, but, you know. Here, right here. Oh, that was greedy. Ooh. should never expend all of my stamina when attacking. It's just greedy and terrible, and I should not do it. Oh, okay. just going to ram my face against you so I know where you are. A boss turning invisible is not a threat if they can't teleport anywhere in their room when they do it. Yeah, if you're just going to stand there and turn invisible, it's uh, pretty easy to find you. Ugh! Come on. Come on. Uh, that might bounce off the stairs and come back at me. Yeah, a little bit. I got this. Easy. Hey, you want to come over here and kill these guys for me? That didn't hit? Come on. Take one more swing. There we go. Yes, I intended to kick her, totally. Also, her AI is not broken. Oh! That does a lot of bleed. Whoop! Uh, I'm gonna top up. Because I'll get greedy near the end here and get myself killed otherwise. <laughs> Come on. And... Done. I even got the tail cut, so... Quith Lulz, Lord Soul Shard. Blah, blah. Humanity Homeward Bone. Isn't that Seath Soul? I had two of the Lord Souls already. Yeah, Seath and Bed of Chaos Souls. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. Huh. Is that another poison? Oh my gosh, another toxic dart guy. No. I don't feel like being toxic today, thanks. 
Can I even open this door? Uh, I sure can't. Or just all the name of the soldier. Alright, so I can't get to any of the items in the underground right now. Thief man, okay. Pretty close to what it normally is anyway. Better fight him, because he'll stab me in the back otherwise. Okay. Hello, merchant lady. Please tell me something decent. Oh, you still have your pr purple moss clumps and blooming purple moss clumps. Okay. I hear you. And titanite chunks, okay. Um... Oh, so you got red cracked eye orbs, blood red moss clumps. You have keys. The master key, but I already have one of those. Because I took it as my starting item. Because I almost can't play this without it. Large titanite shards. Okay. Too bad, I already did. Uh, I'm running out of things to do that aren't. I really don't want to have to fight Manus, but... Uh, hello there. Ultra Goldsmith, I am currently using a Bastard Sword plus two. Because all the items are randomized, so I don't have access to, uh, shards very easily. Otherwise I'd upgrade this thing a lot more. Pardon? Alright, well, uh, This is unfortunate. The only thing I can think of to do is go down to Blight Town right now. Not looking forward to that again. homeward bone, but I'm going to save those in case I need them later. I've also got a catalyst on my back, since you did ask what weapons. Mostly using that for oral decoys right now, but I... <laughs> One spell I can actually use. Uh, uh, I'm actually gonna use this opportunity to level up while I can, so I'll bring that up here and grab another random level. And it's intelligence. Which is actually okay. Because now I have another spell I can use, too. And throw that down real quick. Yep. Alright. Uh, Blight Town. How I think about it, I should have bought some anti-poison to go fight down in Blight Town, but... Eh, I'll be fine. Just 
realized I should turn off my steam overlay. Yeah, I'm doing random stat level ups, random items, random enemies, so... And my Belfry Gargoyle, or one of them, turned into Manus, so... Having a great time! <laughs> I'm kind of praying that some item somewhere is the pendant that reflects his spells, otherwise I'm going to have to re-randomize stuff. Bore up here. Go deal with that, I'm gonna keep running. Okay, I really need to deal with that. But I'm gonna go in here first, because otherwise that boar is gonna kill me. Oh gosh. again. Alright, give me one second here. Isn't that popping up? That's fine then, okay. Uh, I might be in a bad spot now. There we go. Hello there, sir. Please don't hit me with that rock. Uh, I would say it would be, except that two of the Toxic Dart Men randomized to be Toxic Dart Men. Which is, you know, always a pleasure. And then there's also two Toxic Dart Men down in the swamp. So that's super fun. What the heck was that about? That was a weird animation. Alright, get him out of the way. Woo! Do not lose to gravity boss. Someone's throwing rocks at me from above. The rest of the bonfire is super fast. Oh yeah, and then I'm not sure, but I think one of the mosquitoes might have randomized into one of the four kings. So that's, you know, an extra dose of toxicity down here. Oh, hey, right, you don't reset. Whatever, you have fun in there. Oh, gosh, I was hoping you'd get stuck in there. Whoa. Is that an- no, there's three toxic dart men here. Wow. I didn't even know about that one. Ow. I take cover, heal. Go. Oh, bone dog. Bone dog. No. I'm dead. Oh, I had a little more leeway than I thought I did there for sure. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Ah. Top up here. I think the only thing worse than the dogs is the darn bone dogs. Yeah, I'm so glad I got a couple of those. Alright, let's see if I can beat Sith. It's just very weird on this uneven terrain. Uh, and he's got a lot of HP.
I'm hoping that poison wears off shortly. Oh. Oh god. Yeah, my weapons aren't randomizing every swing. I don't enjoy that, personally. There's only so much random I can take. Come on. Yeah, just the item drops in the world are random. Are you kidding me? Ah! Another death to my death counter, but... Let's save. Hopefully that's still working. Yep, still is. Alright. Uh, it's really just about aggroing as few things as I can while I get through here. So I'm gonna get poisoned no matter what I do. Ooh. There's going to always be a dog here too, I think. Yeah, it's right there. As I time my rolls okay, I should be fine. There we go, there we go. Minimize the amount of damage I take going through the swamp. And pray that dog can't follow me down here and I'll be fine. Ugh. I don't happen to have any purple moss. Blooming purple. Mmm, you know what? I'm feeling... Feeling spicy. I use my divine blessing. Probably shouldn't even greed for the souls, but whatever. couple thousand. I definitely think there's a spot I can get him to stand in this room where I will not be able to be hit. If I can get under him though, that's... Hey Ash, welcome in. Wasn't live when you followed me, so thanks for the follow, by the way. Oh. Come on, Sif. I think he can one shot me at this health. Um. Yeah, he certainly can. Alright, I have a plan, though. I'm actually not sure who followed who first, but... Don't appreciate you. Oh, gosh. I don't know what's worse, Toxic Dartman or the guy with the big stick. Yeah, guy with big stick slow, so I'm fine. Yeah, I basically just started like the other week, so and I'm probably gonna die. Ooh, give me a sec there. downside to Dark Souls is you cannot pause the game. Oof. Huh. 
Oh yeah, I think it was Slowpoke who shouted me out. Which, by the way... Not that I have many people watching, but... Give you a shout out there, Ash. Um. Oh. Not looking forward to this fight. I might let the poison tick down so I'm not worried about it constantly. You ever played Dark Souls, Ash? Patience, eh? Yes, it does require some patience. As I'm proving with my lack of moving forward here, because I don't want. Oh, I wish I'd use those Firekeeper Souls. I really just don't have anything for this. focus up a little bit here, so I might go a little quiet. Apologies in advance. The only reason I asked if you've ever played is because this boss is not normally here. So, uh, it's an interesting place to start watching with randomizers. Okay. Poison's gone. And I got hit like an idiot. Thought I might be safe there, but... Fine. Two hits in, back up. Stop backing away from me. Stop it. <laughs> Never seen this boss just back itself into a corner like that. Ow. Sif. Cease. I jumped instead of rolling! No! That is one thing I don't miss in Elden Ring. <coughs> Having a separate dodge and jump button. It would be so nice to have those, but... Mr. Miyazaki wanted to have them be the same button for some reason. Because suffering is eternal. Just like this awful poison swamp. Ah, poison dart, no. Here all 
the stuff chasing me. No, thank you. Ah, oh, okay. You know, I will take the random free souls, because this dog is a one-shot. Or I could not hit him? Okay. Uh, I am going to try something, because why not? Doesn't do a ton, but... Some free range damage could win me this fight. Okay. Went for the double chug because I was on low health there, why not? I actually never tried to fight this guy with range damage, so... Oh, Seath. Oh wow, that does sizable damage. It's a little harder to use that one. Okay. Noted, Sif does not enjoy people using magic on him. Come on. Might rush me again. Sure did. You know what, I will take those 160 damage pops when I can, though. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. He's gonna rush me. Oh. That's not the tactic I was expecting. really wish that didn't stagger me when you did that. <laughs> Should've locked on. That's my bad. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, I'm out of those. I'm curious. Does this work? I didn't think so. Ooh. I got this as long as I keep focused and stay under him. You know, without the normal boss here, I'm hearing a lot more of the little ambiance sounds and the music that I never heard fighting this boss. His Sif is much quieter than Quelag. I don't feel good about killing this boss, either. So all the lore I know is that he was, uh... Oh, the dog of a knight and a very loyal friend to that knight. I 
without getting too heavily into spoiler territory, just in case. I'm also starting to get my old muscle memory back for fighting these bosses, I think, because I'm not dying nearly as much as I was before. Hey. Just could do without the jank terrain. Where'd you go? And if neither of you has ever fought Sif before... I'm getting close to the health territory that will show you why I hate fighting this boss, too. It's even worse if you like dogs. I think it's when he's in those last two sections of his health bar there. Because I don't think they did that with any other boss in this game. Just Sif. Hit probably will put him in the territory that I'm talking about. Oh, is he not going to do it because it's a different boss room? That would be interesting. Oh, he might not do it because he's in a different boss room. Yes, giant wolf with sword. Giant Wolf with Sword, normally when he's on this kind of health, will start limping around. And it's very sad, and it's just like, why would you do that to me, developers? I'm already killing a dog and feel terrible about it, and now you're making me feel bad. <sighs> Finally beat a boss that is important, and got a bunch of souls, and I can even ring one of the bells. Two bells of awakening, one is rang, the other is guarded by, like, one of the last bosses of the DLC, so... No big deal, it's just, like, the hardest boss in the game if you don't have a specific item. Ugh, homeward bone. I would say those would be handy, but I already have the Lord Vessel so I can teleport around, which is very helpful. Um, secret wall here? Yes. Hello there. Yes. Let me in. Let me in! No, no, it's Manus. <laughs> because, you know, why why give me Gwyn, who I can actually parry and fight? Instead, give me Manus, who literally is... Uh... Alright, I'm gaining some levels here, because... I need levels. Fair enough. He is optional, technically. So... Strength, it looks like. What else you got? Oh, no, not more attunement. No. I don't need more attunement. <laughs> if I was going full caster, I wouldn't mind attunement, but I just, I don't have the capability to go full caster with this. What do we got? Faith, cool. I don't have anything to even cast miracles right now, so... Uh, do I have enough... 14 and 9, 23? Not quite. I'm kind of a... very middling build. Nothing has even broke 20 yet.
I've got a sword, I've got... Oh, I can actually... Oh, I can one-hand my sword now. Yeah, if I actually manage to beat the game like this, I'll be amazed, because... It's... It's gonna be a trip. But I think... I think if I don't get the pendant that lets me reflect Manus's spells, I'm doomed, because... If memory serves, most of his spells are nearly undodgeable if you don't do that. Uh. Oh, this is going to be interesting, because this is actually not Ceaseless Discharge, who is normally hanging out down here. Oh, you actually have fought Artorias, too. He's... When I first got to him, I hated Artorias as a boss, but that's because at that point I was blocking. And unless you have, like, the best shield in the game, Artorias does not care for anybody using a shield. Oh, is this still... Oh, no, it's... Oh, Fire Demon. Interesting. So I can go get the item, or I can get a free shot in. Eh, I'll take my free shot. That was not a lot of damage. So he's bugged out and doesn't have sound by the seams of it. Or not as all of his normal sounds. I think this is the third boss I've actually had that's randomized to this boss. Or an iteration of this boss, at least. Two of them are exactly this boss, because I remember one of them glowing with fire. And I don't remember where he is, actually. I know where Calamite is, so that's fun. <laughs> He's hanging out in the basement of the asylum, and I'm hoping he's not guarding any essential items. Because I really don't want to fight Calamite in a tiny space like that. Ow. Come on. Oh, I wonder if I could get him to jump off the ledge. Ouch. A slurp. Yeah, 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 jump off the ledge. Yeah! I will take that win. I will take that win. That was cheese, and I don't care. <laughs> I was just wondering, and I just realized I still have my wheel up, too, don't I? That's my bad. Oh, Nightbot, calm down. Sorry about that. Apparently he doesn't like too many exclamation marks, so I'll have to mess with that. Sanctus and Humanity. Alright. Oh, I mean, I will take that epic win. It's just apparently Nightbot doesn't like it when people go a little crazy with exclamation points. Which surprises me, but... I have to mess with his settings later. <laughs> uh, right, Sanctus, I don't know if I can use that. Got all kinds of weapons, I just can't use most of them yet. Um, I need 18 faith for that. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to need every level I can get, so I'm going to run back. Uh, I did rest at that fire, right? I got nine of these. 
I know I just put the wheel down, but I'm going to put it back up here and do a few levels. And hopefully I remember to put it back down this time. What do we got? Dex. Attunement, of course. That's all I got room for right now. Uh, friend of yours is going to do a randomizer too, eh? Is he randomizing quite as much as me, or...? A little less, maybe. <laughs> so I actually can't take full credit for the wheel of levels idea myself. Saw somebody do a uh, rune roulette, as they called it, on uh, Elden Ring, and it was like, hey, what if I did that with the Souls games? But also randomized everything. You dared him to. So, uh, you're a little bit of a sadist that enjoy watching people suffer. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Ash. You have a good one. Alright. Lava does insane damage in this game. Glad I picked up the charred ring before. Just throw that on. Yeah, the Soul series is definitely not for everyone. And when I started out, I definitely think I would have given up if not for a friend of mine, like, urging me onward. Uh, at least I know a good place to farm some souls if I need them, because... These guys will just run into the lava and die. Unless they're immune to fire damage by some miracle. Titanite shard. I think I can actually upgrade my weapon again, finally. Uh, I thought there was another item over here, but I guess I was wrong. I am praying that I can find the Pendant to fight Manus, because if I can't, I don't think I can beat him. Unless, like Sif, he doesn't use his spells in that boss room. Because they change how Sif behaves in a different boss room, so I'm wondering if, because he's in a different boss room, Manus might behave differently as well. And I was just... I forgot about the way you can cheese Manus until just now. I was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, you can shoot him through that, like, hole with a bunch of arrows. I remember it now. I think I beat Manus legitimately the first time I fought him, and then after that I kind of cheesed him on my second playthrough, because... Don't get me wrong, Manus was interesting to fight once, but I was kind of just done with him afterward. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. I forgot the range those things have. The Hawk Ring. Right, yes. I need to add a couple of deaths here, I think. Because I forgot the last one. Should be able to do another one. Uh, I think I only missed one, but if I miss one death, it's not that big a deal. My goal at this point is basically to just check as many items as I can in the hopes that I find the pendant to fight Manus. Otherwise, I'm going to have to probably farm some souls to actually fight the guy. 
And that's not exactly interesting to stream, other than maybe just chatting while I do it, but... Uh, yeah. I have to go farm souls offline sometime. Or off stream, rather. Because I modded the game I'm playing offline in general, so... Because, yeah, they're pretty finicky with their uh, modding situation with From. Game seems easy enough to mod, but... If you play online with it modded, you get banned pretty quickly. Or shadow banned, or whatever. I know back in... I think it was Dark Souls 2 I messed around with that a bit. Solaire, eh? Wouldn't expect an NPC. Well, I guess the original game kind of had a situation where the last boss was an NPC. And then they kind of scrapped the idea. Yeah, originally I think the last boss was going to be uh, ow, after Gwyn. The NPC you made at the beginning of the game there kind of opposes you during the entire game wants to do whichever ending you don't want to do. I hate these things. Just... oh, no bone wheel. Nope. Oh! And that is why I hate those dark casters. They just snipe you from behind in an instant and deal three quarters of your health. Because that feels fair. Speaking of getting sniped, I need to... Ugh. Died 59 times. I need to stop turning the wrong way. I either need to find a key to the sewers before a blight town, or I need to... I guess I could go up the other side of blight town too, possibly. Although, I think if I try and go up the other side of Blight Town, I'm going to incur the wrath of one of the Four Kings, so... Maybe I can't go that way? I don't know. Some of the stuff I should just try and stand and fight, but... Because, like... Don't forget the button to parry. I can usually parry these guys. If we're on even terrain, because apparently that's not working great right now. Get off the ledge. I forgot how good I was at parrying in this sometimes. I really, really need to remember to do it more. I also don't remember every enemy you can parry, though. And I'm not used to parrying with a Kestis. Oh, the Zweihander was originally my favorite weapon. I would almost always uh, enchant it to be a Lightning Zweihander. I do wish the magic system worked differently in this one. It's just having a limited number of casts per time you rest. Um, 
I think I have to unfortunately give it to the Black Knight Helper because I've used that to in basically run the entire game. Because you can pick it up uh, really early if you get lucky. And uh, if you improve it quickly, you can more or less one-shot the Taurus Demon and a couple other bosses pretty quickly. Not quite like one-shot anything, but you can swing it a couple times and everything dies. It trivializes quite a bit. You know what? I'm going to just use the quick way that I normally do. Which is just go like this. Grab that. Uh, I think enemies might pop out here, because... I don't know, the worms aren't changed into anything. That's interesting. Whatever, I'll take it. Less stuff attacking me. Should actually go that way first. What is that? Oh, it's one of those guys. Ow. normally down here, but Halberd and another soul arrow. Black Knight Greatsword, but after killing Artorias with just the Zoihander and a helmet, it became my number one choice. That is fair. Typically, anything you can do amazing stuff with becomes a favorite weapon pretty quick. Actually, now I think about it, I should sit down here real quick. Remove that for now. Attune more soul arrows. Now I have 60 range shots, and I should actually start using those more. Okay. Nightbot, what are you doing? If I have a safe second here, I can check something. Hoping he doesn't. Nothing sneaks up on me here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, give me one sec. I'm just looking for my settings on it. Not sure if I actually can adjust that yet. Uh, spam protection. There it is. Uh, disable that. And that for now. Yeah, I thought so too. I just wasn't sure. Okay. There, it shouldn't do that anymore, but... Yeah. I disabled the excessive symbols, so it should be fine now. Right now, I'm not too worried about bots coming in here and spamming stuff. If it becomes a problem, I can always enable that again. Because I know where it is now. I think I got just about all the items down here, other than one. 
And unfortunately, if that's not a helpful item, I'm just going to have to, I think, go fight Manus. Which I'm not looking forward to, but... Especially with a weapon that moves this slow. Okay, dude. There we go. Uh, let's go like this. Sure. Oh, panic rolling. Panic rolling all the heck and back. Whoa. I forgot how much those pitchforks catch me out, too. Give the item. Maiden skirt. That was not worth it. Fine, whatever. Shortcut back anyway. Ugh. I'm trying to think of any other place I can go that's not Manus right now, and I'm not... Uh, I can go in the forest. There's a boss, but... Okay, I can warp right to the Daughter of Chaos anyways, so that's handy. 13 and 14... 27. I need a few more humanities. But then I... Oh, I can't get to Solaire anyways until that yellow fog wall is gone. Oh, I think I just have to go fight Mr. Manus. Not looking forward to that. Oh, I can use the Firekeeper Souls of the Daughter of Chaos, though. That's something I can do. You know, if I keep getting levels endurance, I, I'm fine with that too, because I can equip better armor and roll more, so. Uh, reinforce Estus. Uh, no, not right now. Reinforce Estus. Well, my Estus flask is plus three at least, so. Undead Perish. Actually, I should... If I'm approaching this boss, I should actually approach from Firelink Shrine right now, because there's a lot of stuff that spawns between me and the boss. And unfortunately, my Firekeeper died because I went down into Blight Town and stuff. And I could not, for the life of me, get to the cage. You'll get to see why in a moment here. And I'm not going back to the Undead Asylum for a long time either. Not until I can kill Calamate, apparently. Mm, yeah, this guy is why... It's a struggle to get up here. Boop. <sighs> How'd you get down further before? So I was fighting this guy at the lower staircase last time. Come on. That was good. How much does this heal me now? To a full. Very nice. I will take those two improvements then. Get out of my way, dude. Oh, I forgot I should fight him. Okay. Let's be more cautious than that. Uh oh. Okay. Get a little greedy when they're low on health, but... 
Alright, here we go. I'm going to die. Forgot I used my oral decoy last time on that. Because, yeah, there's just a swarm of enemies there. I will risk it and use one humanity here. To heal up. I'm probably not going to get a chance to use magic on Manus. Yes, that's a Bile Gargoyle. Sure is a Bell Gargoyle. <laughs> Oh god, that's a reasonable amount of health. Right, you you have your little tantrum over there, I'm gonna heal up. Uh, and there's a Taurus demon that's gonna come out like halfway into this fight. I'm just praying that they're hostile towards each other, so Manus kills the Taurus demon for me. I know there's certain flags on enemies in this game that allows them to be hostile to each other. Ow. Come on. Just take the hits when I can get them. That's all I can do. Yeah, I had Priscilla down in the Capper Demon's spot, and she actually was able to kill the enemies that spawned in there instead of the dogs, so... Made that fight a heck of a lot easier for me. As in, actually possible. I got comboed. <laughs> I don't know if Manus is hostile towards a Taurus Demon, though, so... Hopefully I get to find out at some point. It's going to be a heck of a time fighting this. I'm just going to keep warping over to the other side. Oh, and I don't blame you. Manus takes a long time to learn, and even then there's... If you get caught out by a couple of attacks, you're just dead. Unless you have an insane amount of health or something. I do have a backup plan if I die again, I think I'll use. Which, speaking of dying, gotta keep adding to my death counter. I definitely feel like there's an item or two I'm forgetting that I can go after. But uh, if I can't even get to the next phase where Mana starts using his spells anyway, it's kind of moot. And then I don't even know if he will use his spells in this boss room. This is going to be a fun time fighting this guy down here. As in, my camera angle is going to be awful this entire time, so I apologize for that. I'd have to know how to set that up, personally, but... It's easier for me right now to let Nightbot track it. See if I can not get hit this time. Ow. Well, I may have screwed that plan up. Hmm. Alright. New plan. Darn rats. Two of these guys actually randomized to their normal selves, it looks like. I 
I got a bunch of rats. I'm getting hit by really, really lame stuff here. Oh! Okay. Yeah, free humanity, except I got sniped. Uh. Maybe need to shorten that command in the future. Uh, I am going... 10k souls. You know what? I'm gonna do this real quick. Once I have one of, that's really worth to do. Otherwise, it's quicker to go like this. Uh, I could do that. I'd have to humanize myself, which... No guarantee I'm even going to get up there human, so. I could certainly try it, though. He does also increase the boss's health bar, though. I wouldn't mind summoning, like, Sif or Artorias for that. See, so, yeah, if you didn't know, you can also summon Sif in uh, Manus' boss fight, which is. interesting. See how many levels I can squeeze out of all this. Gonna have to listen to the blacksmith man while I do it, but that's fine. As far as I know, the only place where you can summon bosses is Elden Ring, but I'm sure somebody has a mod that allows them to, uh, Summon bosses in this game, too. Another level 1 intelligence. I'm gonna have to start casting spells soon. <laughs> At this rate. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, I guess I am just going full spellcaster at this point. Because it really wants me to go into intelligence and attunement. Starting to wonder if this is actually random. Uh, point and dex. I would love a couple points in vitality. You know, one point in vitality even. Endurance? I'll take endurance. Endurance is good. Longer my stamina meter, the more times I can roll. Oh. Okay, intelligence. Do I have one more in me? Nope. I've got a lot of leftover souls. Not a big fan of that. Hey, Andre, can we upgrade this weapon at all? Yeah, I know I have a ember I need to go give to somebody else. Uh, I should check if I can upgrade and use any other weapons real quick, because... Great sword, Black Knight Great Sword. I Need a lot of strength for a lot of these. I think I can two-hand the great sword. Nope, can't even two-hand it. Battle axe, demon's great axe. Not a real big fan of most of the weapons I have available to me. Guess I'll keep going with what I got then. Plus three. You don't happen to have... It's twin humanities and stuff, but... No, he has no shards. 
Oh, I'm gonna dump my souls into something so I can use them later. Twin humanity? Yes, please. Don't get yourself. Oh, switch off the great sword. Alright, plus three. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I'd kill for a better weapon, but... I'm wondering if it would be easier... No, it's probably going to be easier the other way, no matter what I, how I look at it. I also forgot to take the wheel down again. I'm being pursued. I'm being pursued, leave me alone. Alright, quickly take the wheel down here. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. Uh, I'll give this one more shot. At least. Hopefully the improved weapon and a couple of levels will do something for me. I'm wondering if I should just kill Petrus, too. He might drop an important item, and I don't know. Petrus doesn't really serve a purpose other than his shop inventory, anyway. There was not much very useful in there. Hello there. I should probably just... You know what? Okay, never mind. We're not using magic on you. I forgot how resistant you are to it. 74 damage. It's a little better. Ow. Okay, I didn't know that had that kind of range. Not getting greedy, nope. Just take the single hits when I can get them. Go for the kill real quick. Just need to dodge past him and dodge around him. Oh, that went way smoother than before. I mean, I'm still probably going to heal because I'm pretty sure Manus can almost one-shot me with half of the stuff he does. this at the ready. I'm pretty sure Manus also resists magic like crazy, so... Fifty-three damage. I feel like that's almost the same damage I was doing before. Okay. Am I alive? I'm alive. Oh, the wide swings, man. Okay, well, and get up here smoother. I just need to get more practice in on fighting Manus. It's really all there is to that. I feel like there is, but Manus is really inconsistent with jumping back and stuff. And if my memory serves, the gargoyles can't fall off because there's like a barrier for them. But I'm pretty sure you as a player can fall off, so I have no idea if it's just the gargoyles have a weird anti-fall mechanic here, or if it's... Hmm. 
interesting. He figured out how to get down this time. Super weird that their sound gets bugged out in here. Quick, easy, and effective way to just do that. Damn rats. Rats are one of the things that bug me in this game because they are very inconsistent in how they attack, it feels like. Sometimes wish I could turn myself human anywhere I want, but I can only do that at the bonfire. Fourteen damage, yeah, all right. Chug. Roll. I honestly thought that was one of his spells, and I was like, I'm doomed already. No! Alright. <clears throat> I suppose I will attempt one with a NPC summon here before I do anything. Let's see, reverse my hollowing. Try bringing a hollow up there? Oh, to get myself pushed through? Basically? If I'm understanding you right on that. I guess there are a couple of those hollows down there. Could try that. Certainly. fist and go back to the bonfire and rest. Well, I know there was a bug a little while back that broke the AI of the boss who got swapped into the undead dragon's spot. Because, yeah, 
It was Ornstein, and Ornstein was just standing there. And I know the only way to solve that bug is to quit out of the game and jump back in. And uh, when I did that, Ornstein decided he didn't want to live anymore and just kind of ran off the cliff. So, I mean, I was actually going to try and fight him there. What is the range of that, exactly? But yeah, it's... Sometimes the randomizer just breaks the AI. And I would almost consider just fighting broken AI Manus because... Oh, this is not good. I got stuck back here. Anybody else? True. Ah, uh, another one of these guys. Huh. There is free humanity here, but... Just have to kill this guy. Actually, that might be a free twin humanity? Yeah, free twin. Nice. Alright, I guess I'm fighting this guy now. Ooh, that was close. I almost got uppercutted. <laughs> I actually didn't even know those guys could jump back. I might try and glitch through, but I'll try and exhaust every other path before I start glitching them. Excuse you. Now I have access to another item, at least. Hawk Ring and Divine Blessing. Okay. Uh, Snake Man. Right, can't parry a bite. Cannot parry a bite. Pretty sure this fella's already gone. Sure is. Cause he already killed my firekeeper, so. Just thought maybe, maybe he's there and maybe I can kill him and get his item. Punishment. Oh, hey, I have a talisman now can actually use my faith. Though I don't think I have anything that's super useful in faith. Uh, drink a walk of peace, magic barrier, emit force, force, replenishment, greater heal. It's not terrible, but... It's not lightning spear. Alright, let's see. Should be able to summon Solaire.
Mix the layers up top here. Unfortunately, I can't get law track because I did other things. That's right, Solaire's wearing Onion Helm. Oh. Solaire, assist me! Oh, I pray I can do this, but I don't know. Get him, Solaire. Oh yeah, he does sizable damage to Solaire too. I think Solaire's only gonna be a few free hits. Whoa. Doesn't help I don't have sound on Manas now. At least before I had the sound. Oop. I think I have the magic shield. I forgot about the last swing in that combo. Do have magic shield. I just don't know how useful it would be in this fight. It would only buy me so much time. Need 12,000 for another level. Hmm. I might have to think about just farming some humanity and stuff on this, and... Yeah. Either that or I'm gonna have to re-randomize or start a new run. One of the two. Yeah, I think you boost the other resistances of it. It's... Also boosts the poise or whatever they call it in this one. Uh, block value. Stability, that's what it is. Yeah. Thing is, as soon as Solaire hits the boss, the boss turns on him so that I have to poke the boss or I lose my summon. But yeah, certainly an idea. I think I'm going to call my stream there, but I'm going to see if I can find somebody to raid really quick here, because why not? Uh... Who is streaming that I know? Uh, you know what? Yeah. Gonna go raid Skull. Should uh. there we go. Well, thanks for hopping in. All your gold. Hope you have a good one. Reading Skull Smack. I'm calling it here for today. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one, man.